Princeton dominated the early years of college football, winning 28 national titles between 1869 and 1950. Granted, several of those seasons, including 1870, 1872, and 1873, featured 1 0 records, but there were no official polls at the time, and undefeated is undefeated. 1873 saw the first ever meeting between Princeton and Yale, the beginning of the second oldest rivalry in college football. The 1876 game against Yale is believed to be the first first time Princeton took the field wearing orange and black. In 1889, Princeton went 10-0 behind Knowlton Snake Ames, who finished his career with 62 rushing touchdowns. While still technically a Princeton record, the NCAA didn't officially begin keeping records until 1937. In the late 1800s, Princeton played some of its bigger home games in Manhattan or in Hoboken at St. George's Cricket Grounds. Of course, the game looked a little different back then. The year was 1895. Rule number 11. The ball is dead when the holder has cried down, or when the referee has two cried down. Rule 12. The grounds must be 330 feet in length and 160 feet in width, with a goal place in the middle of each goal line. Rule 16. The time of the game is an hour and a half, each side playing 45 minutes from each goal. Rule 21. A player who has made and claimed a fair catch shall take a drop kick. The opponents may come up to the catcher's mark. Rule 27B. For the offenses of throttling, tripping up, or intentional tackling below the knees, the opponent shall receive 25 yards or a free kick. Rule 28. A player may throw or pass the ball in any direction except towards opponent's goal. Rule 36. A goal from field kick is worth five points. A touchdown failing goal is worth four points. After the initial 1869 game, then the game quickly morphed into more of a rugby type of a game. Then in the early 1880s, Walter Camp his uh, rule changes made it more into something that is a unique American sport, but something that someone would recognize watching it today, I think you'd have to draw a line in 1906. In 1906, President Theodore Roosevelt called upon representatives from college football to make the game safer. Princeton was represented by John Fine. Among the rule changes, the legalization of the forward pass. Staking claim to 28 national titles, Princeton was not only the most successful college football program in the early years of the sport, it played a formative role in shaping the game as we know it today.